All right, welcome to yet another fabulous Sunday Night News and Nonsense. And today, Total OS Today and Pinkcast are going, and myself, of course, we're going to be discussing all of the news that's out there that is important to each and every one of you. And I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic over to Total OS Today. Take it away. Thank you, Spatchery. Thank you for joining me again. And thank you, Pinkass, for appearing uh, on the show for this evening for Sunday Memorial Day weekend. And I would just like to take a minute, uh, an opportunity to thank all the uh, people here in the States in the armed services, both past and present, who allow us the freedom to do these shows and enjoy living in America. Okay. So tell me, Total West, today, do you yeah. have any plans for the uh, Memorial Day weekend? Well, tomorrow, uh, we are recording this Sunday night, and tomorrow is Memorial Day. Uh, I will probably sleep in. No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm have, sorry. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> I have... What? No crickets? <laughs> uh, I have plans with the family, my boy. We'll probably do something outside if... If the weather is going to be nice, of course it'll be hot. But I say nice, no, no rain. Pinkcast, what do you got planned for the holiday? Oh, just gonna hang out with some friends, have some fun. With be an awesome time. I haven't seen them in a little while, so it'll be great seeing them again. Cool. Well, yes, uh, as Patrick has said, this is another Center Report, the uh, Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report number uh, eight. For those of you who are confused, wow. yeah, it's been eight already. Uh, for those folks out there who listen, for those of you who might be confused, yes, we just did one, number seven, but that was a Linux A team special. This is a normal one. Uh, but Spatry, is, is it? Is, <laughs> well, is it normal. <laughs> if this is normal, was the other one after? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, Pincast, if we're scaring you, you may want to leave now, but no. <laughs> Okay. I'll well, tell me... you what's scary. ATI drivers. Oh. <laughs> we talked about that on the oh. Zoom last night, and you missed out on it. <laughs> I just had a flash in my mind. Please don't go. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to listen to that last Zoom crew. That sounds pretty funny. Yeah, that one will be going up within the next 24 hours as soon as I can get this stuff working right so I can do my tutorial on how I put the Zoo crews together. Because, uh, as everybody knows, the uh, Spatry's Cup of Linux is converting all the way over to a multimedia show, and I'm just going to be covering everything multimedia in Linux because I have a true passion for that, and I'm going to show all of you guys all of my little tips and tricks for getting the best possible shows together using your Linux distro. Wow, you're changing your format, fancy schmancy multimedia. Ooh. Okay. Hey, did you, hey, did you see Spanky the Penguin, my little test demo? Uh, yes, it looks actually pretty good, I must say. Yes. Yeah, uh, he's coming along. I still, you know, I just can't get those eye blinks right, but I'll get it eventually. And uh, I have a few more little bones I want to put into his skeletal structure, and then he'll be ready for production. And and then I can, uh, then I'm going to be releasing some new titles, some new animations, and that sort of thing. I'm counting down to my 300th episode, so definitely nice. want to have, definitely want to have. Um, something nice and uh of course uh spanky the penguin um will definitely be uh taking some parts in the shows and that sort of thing so it's nice to have a 3d modeled character and uh have you thought sort of, of changing the name i mean spanky why not like spatchy or spatchy the spatchy the penguin no just it, yeah it's just gonna it, it's just a thought yeah yeah, well, it's just it's still going to be Spatry's cup of Linux. I'm I'm still going to be doing Linux distributions, ah. reviews, and the same stuff I've always done. It just said there's going to be a stronger focus on multimedia now, you know, because uh, okay. I've had a lot of requests for that. And the thing is, there are so many show hosts out there right now who are doing Linux distro reviews, and they're doing the other little things that I'm, you know, I'm still going to do it. It's just that I'm going to kind of, you know, give, you know. Let these other people go out and do their thing. You know, some some people's niche is just doing distro reviews. Let them do it, and okay. let me do something I enjoy doing. You know, so and the well, multi aspect is uh, what I really have a passion for. So I might as well, I figured I might as well do something I enjoy doing the most. Cool. You know, well, since, let's especially since my free time is limited now. Gotcha. So 
Okay, well, let's do something that we all enjoy doing. Let's get started with the news and nonsense. And if I may get started with something, uh, you realized last week or the week before, whenever it was, Facebook went public, an IPO on Wall Street. Well, well they're being sued. Uh, apparently, there was some hanky-panky going on with the IPO, and I'm not sure how that all that system works, especially with Facebook, but um, there's something going on. Well, you know what they say, Spatry, there's, there's a Zucker born every minute. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they, were, they were in trouble. The, uh, the the stock went up to like, or it started at 30, in, and I think it went a little bit higher, and then one of the Wall Street analysts said that the stock is only worth like $11 a share, not 38 or 40 So they've got their problems. I mean, I think Facebook, I, I like using Facebook. I don't use it all the time, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm on Google Plus now. But yeah, they've got some problems. I mean, they'll probably survive, but yeah. Yeah. You know, the thing is, uh, the only reason why I have a Facebook account is just so that I can keep people up to date every time I upload a new show to my channel. And uh, the same thing with Google Plus and all those social networks. I really don't go on there to hang out and shoot okay. the breeze with people. It's just to keep my it's just to keep my viewers up to date with what I'm doing with the show and that sort of thing. But I will tell you, Google Plus looks really good yes. by comparison. Yes. I think they've got a wonderful uh, platform for people to yes. use. Not something. You know, I really use myself for social interaction, but yes. sometimes I get people that will ask me a question on there, and I'm hap of course I'm happy to answer any questions that I get on Facebook or uh, Google Plus. So it sure. is a good way for me to interact with right. my viewers and subscribers. But do I use it to stay in touch with family and friends? Not really. I've got their phone number. If I want to get get a hold of family, I'll call them. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah. What about you, Ping? I don't do very much Facebooking. I uh, I don't log on it too often. Uh, I have some old friends uh, and distant family that I keep in touch with because my family's like spread out all around the country, so okay. I, I can't see them. So I'll keep in touch with them through that. But apart from that, I don't really use it. I have a Google Plus for uh, uh, for my uh, Linux. Uh -huh. Email, uh, which I've used to hang out with some LDC members. I haven't done anything other than that with it yet. Uh huh. Okay. And speaking of Google, yeah, uh, you'll remember when we had our news and nonsense episode with Infinitely Galactic. Yes. Uh, Google was uh, having this uh, little battle with uh, Oracle. And it turns out Google has won the second phase of the court battle against Oracle when a jury found that Google did not infringe upon uh. any of Google's patents. The jury previously gave a mixed verdict in the phase one that they, that they did not found Google infringing upon Oracle's copyrights. All Oracle got was the copying of nine lines of code out of millions. Wow, of lines. that's it. And those lines were removed from the from Android long ago, and the value of those lines is zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All that to get zero. Wow. Exactly. So uh, they went uh, okay. zero on that one. <laughs> well, since we're on the topic of uh, lawsuits, uh, LimeWire, you, you may have caught this. Uh, this number just, and I thought it was a typo. LimeWire is being sued for $75 trillion. Whew. Holy moly. Here, let me uh, write you a check for that. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I looked it up. I looked it up. And since and I counted all the money and the whole value of, of, of planet Earth is like sixty trillion. So I be and, and how many trillion is this again? Hold on, I'm going through a midlife crisis. About as much as our national debt. <laughs> yeah. But then I cracked the jug. I said, "Wait a minute, Wall Street stole more stole more than that." So that's that's really peanuts. I mean, come on. I think I, I think they're going to have better odds of getting blood out of a stone. I don't know what's – yeah, really, Bloodstone, but uh, I don't know where that number came from. That's what I read. That's what I saw, and it's, now, it's, it's bizarre. Forgive me for being a little bit dull, but isn't that LimeWire like Bear Share and those Gnutella networks? I, yeah, they. I don't think it's even a right. Piracy. <laughs> I don't think it's even yeah, a right um, for, but yeah. Yeah, um, 
Wow. And uh, one more thing on lawsuits. Boy, this is the week of lawsuits right before the holiday. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're a, a litigious na- litigous uh, nation, aren't we? Boy, it seems that way. Microsoft, yeah. uh, a judge here or the International <laughs> Trade Commission, they are recommending that Microsoft sales to Xbox be banned here in the states, not anymore in Germany. Really. They're recommending that it be, I, I forget the particulars, probably the same stuff that happened in uh, Germany. I mean, I use it all the time. I don't know if Pincast uses a, um Xbox, but... <clears throat> not me. anymore. Okay, well, me and my son use it here, and, and, and it's fine. But yes, there's a possibility that by August, they may be banned. And one of the and of course Microsoft says, well, it's not fair because this would not be fair to consumers. It's not in the best interest of consumers, and it's not, especially well, like myself, not not just myself, but people like myself. Well, one of the judges who's on the case as well, I don't buy that argument because I'm sure, you know, the Wii, the Nintendo Wii, and Sony PlayStation can pick up the slack. And my mm-hmm. first thought, exactly. Apparently, my first, yeah, but my first thought was apparently this 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 dude this this judge has no kids that 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 can play Halo. But uh, now, why <laughs> are they planning on banning this in the United States? I can understand Germany because Germany just doesn't like Microsoft. But what is this? Something about uh, the Xbox and Motorola and some of the the technology behind it. Ah. Don't have okay. all the particulars. I think you know some of it, but yeah, 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 yeah. I got the gist of it. So, yeah. Um, hmm. I hope not. But oh, and here, oh. here's the funniest. Well, not funny, but kind of weird. Let's say that the highest court here in the, the country, one of the courts, Supreme Court, says Microsoft, you are banned. It's not total loss. One man, <laughs> one man can make a difference. One man can overrule that. And guess who it is? Who? President Obama. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be cool? Hey, kids, parents, well, not kids, parents, teenagers, vote for me, and I'll give you back your Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, Pincast? Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you reelect me, I will, yeah. I will, I will. Ban, you know, I'll, I'll block that legislation. That's I can see ban. what's going on. In the, uh, in the, right. Don't, don't ban it. I mean, I can see like in the strategy room, like say it's like October, like he's behind the polls. I can see the president going quick. Grab me some Xbox games. I'll pretend to play and I like it. Come on, come on, come on. But uh, yeah, exactly, and exactly. And as soon as he gets reelected, then he uh, puts the little stamp and boom, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> we all know how the politicians uh, are honest and truthful. I hope the president is listening, Mr. President. We're just kidding. This is a news and nonsense. And by the way, I like you. I like you. I'll probably vote for you. I'm not, I'm not really crazy about the other guy, but hey, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, if you do not save the Xbox, Mr. President, my son will hate you. <laughs> 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 Pincas, what do you got? Uh, well, my brother has a PS3. He used to have an Xbox, but he sold it and bought a PS3. But I, I don't really uh, touch console games much anymore. Okay. How about I used to be when I was younger? Yes. Yeah, Pincas, about a little bit of news, yeah. Okay, um, well, we all, well, some of you may know that KDE did, does not ha- did not have Ubuntu 1 integration, but Ubuntu 1 for KDE has arrived, so all of you KDE fans, you can now have your beloved Ubuntu 1 cloud storage huh. with your desktop environment. Cool. Because uh, part- there are gripes about that, no Ubuntu 1, no Dropbox, Ubuntu 1 part is solved, so... Cool. You can have that cloud storage system. And what else has happened? Oh, and also, KDE is coming up with a photo book, which is, I think, supposed to uh, edit photos, that sort of thing. And it takes sort of an Apple approach in its interface. Uh, I'm looking at a picture of it right now, and it looks pretty nice. So uh, you can just... Google it, use whatever engine uh, you want to use, and look at it if you uh, want. Uh, it, it is pretty nice looking, but it is new, so don't expect it to run flawlessly. Okay. Yeah, KDE is a nice user interface, uh, and I've had an opportunity to watch that evolve over the years. Um, 
Uh, it's great if you've got a modern computer system, up to date. You're running the latest and greatest. But if you're running, yes. uh, if you're running a single core older hardware, mm, I really don't recommend it. No, no. Um, unless of course you, unless of course you're running, um, running uh, like Gen two or something like that, or uh, or Arch. You got a really fast, snappy operating system. Then, of course, KDE is really nice on it. I mean, on my single core, I'm running uh, OpenBox, and I have some components of KDE installed, and that sort of thing. And actually, that comes as a surprise to many people. I'm not running uh, Compiz as often as I used to because uh, I've actually fallen in love with OpenBox, and I've been using yeah. that quite a bit lately, okay. especially with all the multimedia applications and that sort of thing. But um, it's good to see that KDE is pushing to. Uh, Add some additional features. Uh, these are kind of the, these kind of features are a number of things that people will want personally. Nothing I really want to use. I don't like the idea of keeping my data stored up on the cloud. That any you know that Lord knows who is on the other end of that cloud and that sort of thing. Do they have access to my files mm. or whatnot? Yeah. Then of course well, they do say, have uh, encryption available files, as curious, well. Uh, so I've if you're going to store anything on the just, cloud, uh, make sure you encrypt think, it first, uh, people. Big files and just. Uh, store your config files up in the cloud so that way you can easily back up your system or something. Awesome idea. Five free gigabytes to do what you need to do with. So, yeah, you can do that. And uh, I wouldn't recommend doing KDE on a Gen 2 or on a single core processor with a Gen 2 system because you have to compile all of that. Ooh. 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 Yeah, <laughs> not, that's, that's horse stable there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I do use Ubuntu One. Um, that's where I, I upload these audio files. Of course, I do the vi I up upload the vids, you know, to the channel YouTube, and then I go back and sometimes I'll normalize the audio either before or after. And I use a I use Easy Easy MP3 Gain. By the way, if listeners are like kind of like interested in how I normalize the uh, volume, but I do use Ubuntu One. Easy MP3 Gain is that? Yes. What that, what's it called? Easy MP3 oh, really? gain. You can. It's. I believe it's in the Ubuntu Software Center. It works great. It's simple. Um, there's a, there's wow. a little bug in Ubuntu 12.04. You need to drag and drop the file versus going to your folder. It kind of freezes. But but other than that, yeah. I set the. Uh, I, you can set the. Um, not the saturation. You want to oversaturate it. But I set the gain to like around 92. DB and it's that's and it's sound and it sounds perfect. But that's 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 how I do it and that and I upload to Ubuntu One, and wow. Ubuntu One works great. So yes, definitely give it a shot. If does that haven't. support Og too? Yes, as far as I know, Ooh. it does. Yeah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Hey, that's good news to me. I wrote that down. I'll have to go check the AUR cool. and see if we have that. All right, Spatchy, what do you got? Oh well, I'll tell you what. Um, this has been in the news quite a bit, and I think even Pingcast suggested buying a bunch of these and making a cluster out of them. And, of course, what I'm talking about is the Raspberry Pi. And that $35 Raspberry Pi is getting a camera module. Now, the tiny Linux device, which has lived up to its hype, has now given more reasons to purchase this device. In a blog post, Liz discloses that the foundation is working on an experimental camera which will be released later this year. The current experimental camera used has a whopping 14 megapixel resolution. Unfortunately, it will be dropped to something less powerful. This is quite understandable. A high resolution camera will uh, take the cost up in order to keep the will in order to keep the device affordable, and the foundation will have to be picky about the hardware. Now, the camera module is extremely small, which makes it an excellent device to be used in robotics and home automation applications. And currently, you can own, I think it's like one or two per household. Is that correct, Pincast? Uh, sorry, could you repeat on the, that? Yeah, on the Raspberry Pi, that's one or two of these devices that you can purchase per household, right? Well, I know when it, I haven't kept up with it, but I know that when they uh, first shipped, you could only get one. Ah, okay. But the thing is, I can imagine how wonderful this would be if I were to have a, like a stack of 10 of those and make a cluster out of them that I can plug into Blender and turn it, you know, make a nice little render farm out of one of these things and just have it in a shoebox. I mean, I think this would be a wonderful mm. idea. 
I love the idea, and so I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this thing. Maybe even looking for some tutorials online on how to cluster these. Well, I must say that this sounds really kind of interesting, but speaking for myself, I'm a simple, pragmatic person, and the only Raspberry Pi I want is the one with whipped cream on top of it, so... Uh, I, I will not be buying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Well, um, let's end this on some Android news, some possible Android news. I think it would appear, I caught this a few days ago, that there may be a Facebook phone coming coming out based on oh, Android. God. So, <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, will it be compatible with the new Google Glasses? I don't Wouldn't think that so. Wouldn't that be great? But <laughs> not, here's, well, here's the thing. If it comes out and it's a flop, is it the deface book? You know, film, whatever you call it. So uh, I don't know. There's, there's, there's talk. There's, there's, there's stuff going on that apparently. The deface book. <laughs> Facebook is that. reportedly going to hire some former execs either from uh, Google or from Apple, the, these, these engineers. So I don't know. Uh, this may be just a rumor, but the the Facebook phone book, is that what you, oh, I guess smartphone, Facebook, but this, this is really confusing, but uh, <laughs> the Facebook smartphone, I guess that's what you would call it. So, so instead of icons, would you have just like smiley faces as a standard hey. default, you know? Yeah. Maybe they should team up with Sony and then add the extra ah, features like the electric ah. shaver and then of course the uh, personal the personal massager module. Well, I can see the shaver because <laughs> it is a face book smartphone. Get it your face is shaving. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, who knows? This may come out like for Christmas and one year from tomorrow, which is Memorial Day in memoriam. Here lies the broken down old Facebook smartphone that <laughs> went nowhere. <laughs> uh, you know what my epitaph is going to read? Here lies Spatry. We loved him, knew him well. We pray he'd go to heaven, but we knew he went to hell. <laughs> uh, I certainly hope not. <laughs> I, I I hope not too, but uh. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Cass, do you have any final thoughts? <laughs> oh, the, okay. Well, first I have to say on the Google glasses, I remember reading about that, and all I could think was one more thing to distract people while they're driving. <laughs> now, on the Facebook really? phone, I uh, not surprisingly, I think I read somewhere that it's going to be running on top of Linux. Okay. Uh huh. So, hopefully, using Linux in the uh, phone. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, this is all rumors. Uh, would the Facebook smartphone sell? I'm not going to buy. I'm mean, I'm happy with what with, you know with what I have, but time will tell. Yeah, Maybe there's room more for another pay? you know smartphone in the crowded, but, yeah, you know market. But I mean, it it does make strategic sense to to uh, build it on top of the Linux kernel because uh, yes. you know um, Linux devices. What can I say? They're reliable. Yes, you know. And when I when I compare with uh, the the uh, Windows mobile devices I've owned, um, well, well, you know, uh, yeah, there is. I don't. No I don't have a Windows one. I have an Android. It's fine. I played it with the Windows one, but never really bought it or had it. But yeah. we shall see. Yeah. So, like I said, my yeah. yeah, my last Windows phone. I I used to have to pull the battery out of that thing all the time and restart it. And my uh, Android phone that's sitting here. Uh, actually, it has been on for weeks. I haven't had to reboot it. As a matter of fact, I use it as my alarm clock. It gets me up, and okay. I, I love this thing. Yeah, it's 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 okay. amazing. I mean, you know, well, it's got a bunch of other little applications and features, you know. So, um, yeah, I've got I've got my daily reflections in there, you know. I mean, all of my uh, little news and tidbits, you know. Okay. A little swipe of the finger, and I got it. Nice. You now, gotta love it. I saw a picture of a really great alarm clock on Fat Pit. Now this is something that I need. It's a it's a puzzle alarm clock. When the alarm goes off, it shoots four puzzle pieces across your room. In order to shut off the alarm, you got to collect the puzzle pieces and then put them in the right spot in the clock. What? What a way to get up! You know that make I love that. I absolutely love that. You 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 know um. You know, this is this is uh, 
that this, you know, because I'm one, you know, I'm one of these people. I set my alarm clock one hour before I have to get up, and I'm constantly, you know, and I've got, you know, of course, my device. Its dock is across the room, so I have to get up out of bed, and press the uh, snooze bar, and then hop back into bed again. And I do this for about an hour, but arranging a puzzle and that sort of thing to shut the alarm off what a novel idea i think this is magnificent it's going to be it's going to be great for um for people like me who tend to dawdle when they're uh, getting up out of bed you solve a little puzzle it'll shut the alarm off you know at least uh at least you know because you got to have some kind of cognitive function going to uh you know, uh, to solve a little puzzle and that sort of thing, and uh, what a great way to get up out of bed. I love the idea. I think it's great. Sure. Let's see. Sure. Myself. Let me start my day by feeling really ticked off that I got to do work before I get to work. To <laughs> like, wake up. No, that is complete horse stable. Uh, I'll make sure I have the window open to toss it out the window. Thank you, but uh, no. well, you, well, you got to get up to go to work. Is the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's how you shut. Off. Is that how you shut off your alarm clock with a sledgehammer? Bam! <laughs> no, I have the uh, those nunchakus, you know. What is it? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just strategically place some ninja stars up on the wall and just reach up, grab one, and. I had no, I have to to homes in my walls. I had, I had to I had to stop doing that. Yeah, so I I, I got tired of spackling. So you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Folks, on that note, we are out of time for this center report number eight, the normal one versus the last abnormal one with the Linux <laughs> tape. <laughs> uh, no, that 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 was funny too. If you haven't, please check it out on the channel. It's also uploaded oh, as an audio file on the Tosscast podcast website. And uh, it's an hour long. Trust me, it's funny from start to finish. Spatry did not botch it up. He, he blew out one of my speakers, but I was able to patch it up. <laughs> you know, duct tape and super glue, and it's fine, but no. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spatry. Thank you, Pincast. This was fun. All right. Yeah, Thank have you. a good holiday, Memorial Day holiday, or uh, after holiday, depending when you listen to this. Thank you. And as always, yes. we, yeah, th this was definitely fun. And you know what I always, I like to end this. We will catch you sometime in the future. Now, everybody say it at once. Ciao. Ready? Ciao. Ciao. Bye.